Throughout our previous videos, we have learned various methods of REST APIs. Now let us talk about another protocol, which is SOAP. We'll then talk about another extension to SOAP, which is WebSockets. Let us first clarify the term SOAP. It stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. It provides access to the web services. The term Web API generally refers to both sides of computer system, that means client and server communicating over a network. The server-side part of a web API is kind of a request-response message system which is called as web service. There are various models for web services but the two most common ones or the very popular ones are SOAP and REST. In last few videos we have gone through various methods of REST APIs. Now let us explore about SOAP. SOAP is a protocol that has a specific structure. It uses XML as message format and it relies on application layer protocol, for example, HTTP. Now, basic components of SOAP are envelope, header, and body, which contains the message of the request. Now, API Tester, which is a mobile application to make these API calls, supports sending requests to SOAP APIs as well. To send a SOAP request, you need to, first of all, create a new request by tapping on the plus button on the upper right corner, and then you need to choose post as a method now let us add this endpoint so we type in here http web services and then whatever the domain is and then web samples dot country info country info service dot wso you will see that the endpoints of soap apis will generally end with wso or wstn now let us place this piece of code into the post data tab And one last thing we need to do after all of this is we need to set the content type as text XML because I told you that it uses XML as message format. Now we are good to run the request. Here we got the response. So we have successfully hit a SOAP API and we have got the response. Now let us talk about WSS. So WSS provides a framework for encrypting, signing and authenticating SOAP messages. As I mentioned that it is an extension to SOAP to apply security to the web services. Now API Tester also supports WS and WSS connections for the exchange of data between client and server. Now to create a WebSocket request, first of all you need to create a request as we created earlier so we need to tap on the plus icon on the top right corner and then we need to choose here WebSocket or WSS and we need to put the endpoint here. Now after that we need to tap on this connect button to create a connection with the server. Now on the response screen you will see the option to send messages. So as you make the connection you will be now ready to send the messages to the server. Now this API that we have used here will simply echo our message back and therefore whatever we send as a request you will be getting the same response. Now similarly let's say if I try for another message I get the same response back. Now WSS or WS request also support query string parameters, it also support headers, it also support authentication. Now to close the connection that we have created we need to tap on this disconnect and then we are good. I hope this feature is clear to you and if this content was useful for you please subscribe to my channel and I will come back with more such videos. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye till then.